He still thinks, I think, of curtains almost as this gateway to magic. They open up, and then you get to enter this other world. He favors theatrical curtains, the kind of curtains that belong to magicians and movie theaters. You know, the kind of curtains that you only use when you are framing a performance. The kind of curtains he would have seen when he goes to the movies when he's a young boy, and that curtain opens up. And so when you see a curtain like that, you know that something is about to happen that is not real life. If a curtain is your divider between reality and fantasy, the curtain is easy to get through and to walk through. The curtain is welcoming. It's as easy as Toto pulling back the curtain on the great wizard himself. Think yourself lucky. Can I... Oh, I, I, I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. You're a very bad man. And you see on the wizard's face this disappointment because he has disappointed them. I'm just a very bad wizard. And it's almost unfair, I think, for everybody to be so sad when they see him because it's still a great show. There's this fear that the director does not want his craft to be exposed. And I wonder if that's a little bit of where David Lynch is like, I don't want to explain my films. I don't want to ever show you my gears and my levers because nothing lives up to what you have perceived on the screen. Damien asks, what's behind the red curtains? It's a top secret thing, Damien. And uh, just leave it, leave it like that. <laughs>